Marquez opening up again. He finds the target. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. There's blood trickling from Marquez's right nostril. He may have decided that he wants to step up the pressure. That's a, everyone is up through the middle. That's where all the most effective punches are. Catsidis is tiring. His feet are starting to get sloppy, and his head is responding more to the punches. The crowd knows it. The crowd wants Marcus to come off. He's looking to finish. Watch the combinations flow. He knows how to break those shots up to the middle, too, when the guy's trying to clinch. You're watching one of the greatest combination punchers ever to function in the sport. Juan Manuel Marquez, do you think Katsidis might be the biggest puncher you've faced? Marquez's answer, I don't plan to test that theory. I don't plan to know. If you watch Juan Manuel Marquez's face, you can almost hear him thinking his way through the fight. Yes. It's amazing to watch his focus. Now the fight is turning out to be just what I thought it was going to be. Look at the combination. and Marquez is on his butt. And seriously and hurt. hurt. Tremendous seriously shot. Hurt. The Six, biggest punch Marquez seven. has taken since he fought against and Pacquiao. Eight. Okay. And Katsidis is going to be Come hard to hold off. Michael Katsidis is thinking of his lost brother. Short. Two minutes left in this round. He's fighting for two. Just as he told us. What an opportunity. Remember that Marquez survived. Those four knockdowns by Pacquiao. Katsidis caught him with a left hook again. Marquez momentarily wobbled. There's a right cross for Katsidis. Marquez is fighting rather than holding. Marquez is a very experienced fighter. Though. Katsidis had to be careful himself. Marquez is getting his bearings yeah. back. He's going to try to find an opportunity to go right back at Katsidis. Hard left hook by Marquez. You remember Juan Diaz did the same thing to Marquez, and Marquez came back and stopped him. Yeah, here you go, Marquez is coming back very left much hook, like left hook, right same, cross. Same as he did with Diaz. Firing away just as he did and coming back in the Diaz fight. What a round. What an amazing round, round three. It's becoming a phone booth fight. And a phone booth fight is a marvelous stage for the craftsmanship of and a fighter is, like Yeah, Casillas needs us, though. Get more so, even though Mark Hands fights good, he can see this diesel because he can't, he doesn't place his punches that good, so he has to smother Mark Hands. What an amazing offensive fighter, Mark This is like the last round of the fight. Michael Katsidis has done everything he could possibly do for eight rounds against one of the greatest fighters in modern history. Stairs by Marquez. Katsidis keeps firing away. Major League stuff. Marquez opening up again. He finds the target. Uppercut, uppercut, uppercut. There's blood trickling from Marquez's right nostril. He may have decided that he wants to step up the pressure. That's a, everyone is up through the middle. That's where all the most effective punches are. Katsidis is tiring. His feet are starting to get sloppy, and his head is responding more to the punches. The crowd knows it. The crowd wants Marcus to come off. He's looking to finish. Watch the combinations flow. He knows how to break those shots up through the middle, too, when the guy's trying to clinch. You're watching one of the greatest combination punchers ever to function in the sport. A variety of punches from so many different angles where Casillas can't even see him. And Great Kenny call. Bela stops Great the call. fight. Great call. What fight a tribute call. to Marquez. Bela stops the fight with Katsidis still on his feet. Great call by the referee, Kenny Bayless. That wasn't a show of disrespect to Katsidis. That was a show of respect by Bayless. He was saying, you fought this well. You don't deserve to take any unnecessary punishment. <laughs>